So here's a quick video tour of the L2 2 cube per day algae scrubber. Uh, first thing, uh, obviously it's all black acrylic. Uh, we've got thumb screws here to hold the heat sinks in place. Uh, this is the slot tube assembly, the emergency overflow. Uh, this is the driver for the LEDs uh, and the bulkhead which is normally in the bottom but obviously uh, for this purposes of this I'm just going to leave it off. Now the lid uh, has uh, gussets on the bottom, gussets on the top in opposite directions. This will keep it from warping and it you know, fits right in here uh, you know, relatively snug. It might slide back and forth a bit. Uh, the slot tube obviously this is just the basic uh, you know, core concept here as uh, a um, roughed up screen, got a beaded zip tie, uh, used a piece of uh, flex, spa, spa flex hose bonded on to the pipe to uh, keep the water from escaping this way, it just drips down instead of using a gasket. Got a threaded uh, th threaded union on here, uh, that way you can you know move the knob to either side you want. Uh, got a uh, uh, MIP to ho hose barb connection for your pump, so that's that. Over here, this is a uniseal bulkhead uh, with a uh, one inch street elbow in there. Uh, this is your emergency overflow. As you can see inside the box, if it shows up on here, um, the water level really shouldn't get up above uh, the bulkhead there with the flow rate that this needs. Um, and then as far as the LEDs go, uh, obviously you've got the 700 milliamp uh, constant current driver, non-dimmable. Uh, which has then connections here. You can actually connect this side fixture first or this side fixture first and then interconnect the other two. Uh, so it's flexible that way. It's the, the, and the connectors are made so that it's idiot proof. You can't connect the fixtures wrong. Obviously it wouldn't even turn on if it were wrong. I do have here, again I mentioned the thumb screw to hold it in place. You can pull these fixtures out and I'm going to turn this off so you can see this better. The fixtures have uh, screws sunk into them to stand it off from the window here. The window has a piece of diffusion grating. This is the stuff that goes into a light fixture on the ceiling. Uh, and uh, the reason I put the diffusion grating in there uh, is because it, it just blends the light that much better and you can put the LEDs pretty close that way. As you can see, there's a top black panel bonded in here. There's a bottom black panel bonded in here. The top one is really to block the light from the fixture on the other side from bleeding through this way, and I'll show you this when I turn the lights off. The bottom one actually, now that I'm going to skip it around here, but the bottom one actually is to uh, support the false bottom. Now the false bottom concept here, the water drains down from the screen around the sides, the bulkheads at the bottom. Algae doesn't get direct contact with the bulkhead. It has to go all the way around and the light is blocked to it in, in, in addition to that. So the diffuser goes in. These screws can be adjusted for the amount of standoff. It keeps the LEDs from being in direct contact with the uh, 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 with the diffusion grating also. I'm going to put this back together. Plug in the power. And I'm going to turn the lights off. There we go. Now it's pitch black in here. Uh, really the most light that you see comes out of it, actually interestingly enough, uh, comes out of this street elbow. Uh, if I turn it this way, you can see there's very little light that actually comes out of here. And even less light coming out of the top. Now if I back off the fixture, You know, that's probably, let's see, right about there is about as far back as you can get the fixture. That's the most light bleed you're going to get out of this. And again, this is pitch black in here. You can see my hand. You can barely see my hands. Again, if I slide this back in place, so it's tied up to the, and that's actually not, not as close as it can get. But... I find the light switch, don't kill myself. There we go. So that's that. 
that's everything there is to the L2 algae scrubber. Bottom comes out that easily. I like fixtures. Thumb screws. Unit seal. And as you can see, this is your plain acrylic box with the cutouts cut for the screen. This is so you can get your hand into here and also so that you can get the bulkhead in there. Uh, there's that uh, the gut the standoffs for uh, for the uh, false bottom again and uh, that's about it